the antique table in Lynn. It's very antique. <laughs> Even those sandals. Every shoe. Let's get a shot of that. Up in seven it's days. Probably really good. Well, let's try it. Hello. Hello. This is a nice place, huh? Yeah. It's very cool. Very cozy. Everything's made fresh here. Cool. Need a gun. Take the cannoli. One room still. You got this really nice soft focaccia bread. That they only bake every day. Mm. He said they get rid of any old stuff. It's all fresh every day. We're going to have the uh, prosciutto rollatine appetizer. I think I'm going to get the lamb chops. What are you getting? Spaghetti Where's that? Inside the menu. Like literally you just messed up the whole person. Here. Some more of it. Spaghetti and meatballs, huh? So remember what I learned. I know, like you just messed up the whole thing. Two is not early when you go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> tear apart. Yeah, yeah. Not buy it. You gotta tear it. Oh really? You keep, no, remember? No. We were reading on the table. The manners. Your manners. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you forgot already. You're all hungry. Yeah. Or... <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm, that's good. Yeah. What's in it? Mm. Yeah, they already have, you know, That's really good. Yeah. You know, the orange sauce. That's awesome. I love it. I can taste the olive oil. Mm -hmm. It's really good. See, they even they brought over a little extra lemon and lime. I'm so I think any place that serves the Saratoga is, uh, <laughs> is a step above. That's a, that's a point. We love Saratoga. That's a cookie right there. Getting that. That's good stuff. Yeah. This olive oil is great. Yeah. This bread is great. Looks yummy. Spaghetti and meatballs. I'm good. It looks like angel hair pasta. I'm going to cut into the meatball. Looks good. Look at it. Yeah. I need a smaller bite. He said I went old school. Mm. Good meatball. Yeah. That's real good. Is it? That's really good. Twirl the spaghetti. That's like really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice and hot. He said it's all homemade, homemade pasta. Mm. Alright, I need a spoon, huh? Alright, let's give it a try. That's really good. Tastes like I think I went to Italy. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. Wanna try it? Yeah, you gotta try that. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want it going off my plate. Shot of you trying to do this. <laughs> I did it. It's hot though. <clears throat> I don't 
want to burn my mouth. Yeah. Pretty good decoration here. I like the ambiance. So we finally got our appetizer though. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. Shall we? Let's try it. And I got my lamb chops. That looks beautiful. Nice size too. Try one of these. What is it? With the seasonal carrots. See, I was, sometimes you go and they have a little tiny, you know, yeah, know. little kebab. Those are cute. Yeah. <laughs> Is it prosciutto? It's got some, some tomato in there or something? No, that's not. That's like a pepper, but not oh, a pepper? spicy pepper. It's like that. I forget, it's on the menu. Pepper. It's a roasted red pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, you try one? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. It's got cheese and arugula. Because arugula is so yummy. Very good. Oh, yeah. Very nice quality. Mm. Yeah. Good quality. I like it. Okay, I'm going to cut it to this meat. Perfect. It's like I like it. It's exactly where you like it. You don't like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Really? That's the potatoes. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Here we go. So you don't get the chocolate mousse. The chocolate mousse is bought. All the other desserts are made in house. It looks prettier that way. Yeah. This is the apple pie cheesecake. Yes. This, this is must some kind of caramel topping. Mm. I'll let you know. It's like an apple crisp cheesecake. Mm. Let me see. Put a little bit of this on it. I didn't think I'd like it. You didn't think you'd like it? Yeah. What's not to like? I didn't think apple cheesecake went together. Doesn't it? It does. Good. You can taste the cheesecake and you can taste the apple. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Drizzling on there, baby. Yum. Yum. Look at all the apple on the bottom. It's like caramel or something, isn't it? Yeah, caramel. I said caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> That's good, huh? Bottom. But I like it. Mm. 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 What is it? I don't know. Mm. Oh, it's the crust. <laughs> the crust is yummy. Is it? Yeah, the crust is good. Mm. Very good. I don't even think it's graham cracker. I don't know what it is. Mm. But it's yummy. I am enjoying it. I highly recommend this thing. Feels like I. <laughs> Feels amazing. It's so mm -hmm. yummy. Mm. Quite good. Mm. So, what do you think of the antique table? I thought that with its positive, excellent service, the waiters were extremely kind, very accommodating, very mm. attentive.
Yeah, because they have several people serving you, right? Yeah. It's not just one. I wasn't that busy, though. I don't know. But yeah. still very super polite. Excellent service. Mm -hmm. Best probably I've ever seen. Really? I've never had anybody that nice to me <laughs> in a restaurant. They're so nice to you. Weren't they? they were yeah, nice. no, they were really nice. Maybe some, I don't, the top of the line at least. Well, they it's, were super friendly. It was like a family-owned business. Yes. It, super friendly. It's got really good decor. I like I like it. The colors, the texture, the decorations, Made the lights. Made you feel like you're in Italy a little. Yeah. You know, like an old town. I didn't hear any music though. They should have had some soft yeah, music playing, like some it, Italian music. Yeah, playing. that would have been cool. That yeah, would have been definitely. a plus. Um, the food was excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good food. That's need a little salt and pepper. But they said they do that because they have a lot of older people that mm -hmm. come in that don't want all that. Yeah, but that's no big deal. But um, it was super tasty. Yeah, very good food. I think that's. I love my meatball. So mm -hmm. good. It was a 10 out of 10 for food alone. Mm -hmm. So I would say, yeah, ambiance. You could tell it was homemade because it yeah. just tasted so good. The waiter said they make everything from scratch as soon as you order it. There's nothing pre-made. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means exactly. Well, probably meaning that most of their recipes, they have recipes. They buy the ingredients and then make it mm -hmm. versus something's already made. You just heat it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, well, it was very, it was excellent. The lamb was juicy. Uh, we I didn't know, even taste it, did I? No, you don't like lamb anyway. Well, I don't dislike lamb. It's just not my favorite. Lamb chops were very good. Decent sized portions. The, the sauce on it was excellent and very nice mm. taste. The carrots were very tasty. Not too soft, not too hard. A nice bite. They were seasonal. Yeah. The bread was good. Oh, the bread, the dip, the olive oil dip. Oh, we the, devoured that up. We were like, mm. The prosciutto appetizer oh, that, yeah, was delicious. the prosciutto was really good. It was a good prosciutto, too, because sometimes you get the, that taste in prosciutto. It wasn't, that, yeah, it was a good prosciutto. It wasn't, no, sometimes some, it's not, it's chewy or something. Yeah, or like it tough. Is. This exactly. Was, this was very tender. That's how you know it was a good prosciutto. Yeah, it was good. So I would say, based on that alone, 10 out of 10. But yeah. there are some some negatives. One, it's it's a smaller place. It's got a tiny bathroom. Parking is tiny. Suboptimal. Well, we don't. We didn't. I looked on their website and I didn't see when they started that little place. Maybe not, if we go again, we'll have to ask. But it obviously has been there a long time. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's been there a while. Yeah. So. You yeah, think, but the fact they have parking, they do have parking. They do have parking. It's it's, it's not a perfect situation because if it's if it's busy, is where are you gonna park? Yeah, if it's busy, the parking lot across reservations. The, yeah, the they, parking lot across the street was for somebody else. Yeah, they had street parking, but I mean, you really yeah, you gotta, make reservations. I there think. weren't that many tables in there. I mean, but that's because they make everything from scratch. I don't like when waiters take your order and they don't write it down. Because he, he forgot, he did forget it wasn't my... Him. He blamed it on the chef. He blamed it on the chef, but he forgot my lemonade, too. I had a lemonade, I didn't get that till right later until I reminded him. The appetizer didn't come till dinner. The, dinner, the meal came, because they forgot about that. We didn't have that. bread for appetizers, yeah, so... so, I mean, there was little, little things. And all for those reasons, those little things, I think it brings it down to a nine for me. It's the, it's all for me. It's a, a whole yeah. I mean, because it's a business versus. I mean, yeah. I get making stuff from scratch and homemade. It's a little more complicated than being mass produced. Yeah. And we're used to faster service, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, not like the, no, it wasn't bad. the twenty-four carat. That was the worst weight I've ever waited. But it wasn't like Gibbet Hill. Gibbet Hill was perfect. You know, yeah. plenty of parking, a nice sized restaurant. Plenty of space. But you gotta think of the location. location. Gibbet Hill. Gibbet Hill. Gibbet Hill. Is uh, on a farm. They have all kinds of land. This is like in Lynn, Massachusetts, and it's a tiny little area. It's very populated. It's different. But it, for being close to Boston and being populated, to have parking is a premium in that area. So you gotta think of that. Still, it's still, yeah, it's not my fault. 
<laughs> but I would recommend it if you're in town. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, And you're it's like food. visiting Salem or whatever, want to get like a real authentic Italian experience. I think that that's definitely yeah. up there. Right? Yeah, that's, if you're visiting, we've been to a lot of Italian, and we're like, maybe we just don't like Italian. And it wasn't that but bad for the prices. I mean, it was a hundred oh. bucks. Two of us. Yeah, but we ordered. We ordered appetizer. We had a drink. We had dessert. Dessert. And we had expensive meals. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean. But making it from scratch, though. I think you that's do, more expensive and time-consuming. If you're visiting from Boston or from to Boston or Salem, and you're in that area, I would. Yeah. I would definitely get some good food. Yeah, they we really know how to cook. The chef's good. Yeah, we wanted to get roast beef, but it was just not the day. Hmm. A lot of places were closed today. Next time. So they say roast beef in the area is really good, so we gotta try that. 10 out of 10 food, but overall, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 what? Cookies. Mm. 9 out of 10 cookies. Yeah. Till the next treat.